Hi, I'm Nishi. I'm a second year master student in computing security at RIT. And I'm, I'm from India and I did my undergrad in electronics and communication. Um, yeah, I, I really, I chose RIT simply because the curriculum is what attracted me in the first place. The curriculum is really, really intensive and it was something unlike I've ever seen in any other college. And I really like it and I like, I like it here. So uh, to start, I have to talk about my co-op. I co-opt over the summer <coughs> at RIT in the Safe Lab with Eaton Corporation. And this co-op was on penetration testing of embedded system devices. This directly connected back with my undergrad. And that's also one of the reasons why I chose this co-op over um, other companies that I originally had planned to intern with. And this really helped me build what I had in my own, what, my, what I had as a background in my undergrad and what I'm doing right now for my master's and it helped integrate the two together and that's what I really appreciated about it. So with this co-op because it tied into my undergrad and because it tied into my background I really felt that it amplified or accentuated my resume so much because it helped um, it helped build the skills that I already had and helped shape those skills into a more with a more security mindset and I was able to get this co-op through the department um, with a couple of professors that I had originally interacted with and I had spoken to them about my interests and where my strong my strengths lie and that's what got me here and I really am glad to be here Outside of the classroom, I'm involved in a lot of other security related work. I still work um, part-time in the lab for the, for, for in the co-op um, through the fall semester. I also work as a research assistant on campus for um, cohort communication under two professors in the department. Um, additionally, I'm also um, involved with a lot of volunteering activities. So I like to, I, I love volunteering in um, everything basically. So I started off with the, the girls in STEM fair at RIT. I also did Gen Cyber with RIT and the NSA over the summer. And there at Gen Cyber, I module, I mentored um, a whole bunch of little school kids um, and introduced them into security where we talk about what are the basic things that school kids need to know about security. The thing about RIT and the Computing Security Department is that there is a whole bunch of clubs and people that are open and welcoming enough to anybody that has an open mind and that wants to learn. And this field is truly for people who want to learn, who are open to like challenges and are open to actually taking up that challenge. It isn't really meant for, like it isn't going to work if you're not going to be open about everything that's happening in life. There's two clubs that I'm actively involved with. One is the Women in Cyber Security and one is RITSEC, RITSEC, um, every Friday. And these two communities basically keep me more involved with A, the women in security, knowing that there's such a shortage of that technical experience in the field and knowing that there's a skills gap, knowing that there's a gender gap and being able to sort of work with what we've got will work with more. And so we do want definitely more women in the field. We want more women to be brave in the field. There's really no definition of you being perfect. We just want you to be brave. And we just want you to be able to like, take up that challenge and not be afraid to fail. And that's, I think that's what really taught me. That's what RID taught me as much because I came here really scared and I came here looking really, like scared to make mistakes, scared to fail, scared to fall. And that's what changed in RID. That's what changed here. So being a part of all of these clubs, being a part of open and welcoming um, communities sort of changed me as a person. And that's what I like about it here. So knowing that in this lifestyle, there's just so much of work and you, it's so easy for you to get like completely swallowed by it. And the fact that it's glorified that you have no sleep. I sort of take time out and I aggressively take time out to like be with myself. And one thing I love doing um, is traveling. So I've traveled to like 11 different states here in the one and a half years that I've been here. I absolutely love road tripping. Like I love just traveling via road, like by road. Um, and I like driving essentially. That changed ever since I got here. So I think once I got my license here, I was like, there was no stopping me and I had to be on the road all the time. But I absolutely, I've been to some really scenic locations. I love the, I love the sea, I love the water, and I love waterfalls, I love everything about it. So I guess that's what really draws me to travel to different places and see different sites.
So in closing, I want to talk about how um, if you're choosing a career in security and you're choosing RIT, then first of all, good choice. And second of all, what I'd really like for what I'd like really like to tell people who potentially want to come here is that it's a big world out here, and you need to just be ready. You need to be open, and you need to be brave enough to take this challenge because it's something that really changed me, and I hope it does to everyone else as well. So that's what I like, and that's what I want for people out there.